All right, so we're back out here in the, uh, the Michigan wilderness. And today uh, I got scrap, getting scrap. Got the truck all loaded up. Um, I'm out here for a guy that messaged me, said he had some stuff for me. But told me to bring the trailer, but I don't think I really need it. All I need is just the truck and some horsepower because to get out here, I had to drive through this whole field right here, all this grass. You can kind of see the tire tracks. And I got all this going on. Um, a lot of fencing. Here's a pile right here. Just the, uh, kind of just the miscellaneous pile here. And then over here we've got a, a hay rake, which I think is pretty neat because everything, you know, still moves on it, at least for that. But I have a gearbox over here. Something's wrong with it where it's not engaging. And when I was spinning, I could hear lots of grinding in there. So, uh, I'm definitely interested in this. Uh, I definitely want to take it. The guy said he does have the replacement parts for the gearbox. I don't know if it's a rebuild kit or not, but he said he has the parts to fix it. So I say that's a pretty good deal there. Um, got an old feed bin. Just some miscellaneous stuff laying around here. Old uh, metal trailer, metal bottom trailer. Uh, some canoes back there. Can't take that. There's a pretty neat fire hydrant, but he said I can't take that. It's the only thing I can't take. But, um, there's coming through. It's kind of along the whole edge of this field. And we've got this boom here, he said it's for an Alice Chalmers. Like a snap attachment. Something like that. I'm not exactly sure. I've never seen one before. Uh, we got an old fuel tank. Not sure if there's anything in it, but if there is anything in it, it's long gone by now or no good. So we're going to come back over here. This guy said I can take pretty much anything but the fire hydrant, which I think is really neat. Down here, we've got a uh, old grain drill. I do believe it's a John Deere. Uh, the rake up there is a John Deere also. Anyone that's wondering or anybody that even cares or anybody that even watches these videos. But um, he said it's about, he said it hasn't been used in about 50 years. But I'm surprised because this tire looks like it's still holding air. It's a tube tire. Nothing out of it out there. Um, I think he jumped out at me. The only problem is that at the bottom. Oh, let me get a better view on the side. This tire's all blown out, so I don't know how I'm gonna get this out of here. I'll probably just bring the ball back here, or the hitch back here, take the ball off and whatnot. But yeah, the bottom of it's completely rusted out, so there's no saving it. He said he was thinking about restoring it, but he said, you know, it's too far gone. It'd be paying the ass to do for something this old. And it's John Deere, so it's going to be expensive. But other than that, he's there's some guy he said that hunts out here, so I got to be careful. And he gave me his number, let me know, or let him know, and I'm going to be out here when he's going to be out here. But really nice guy. Um, really nice guy. Really appreciate him letting me come out here and do this. I've already found, I mean, I've already found pretty much, you know, enough stuff to cover you know, coming out here. Except somehow I convinced myself to drive the nice truck all the way out through all this brush and shit. But I mean, it's just brush, so hopefully we won't get any scratches on the new paint. But uh, we got a lot of fencing. Got a lot of fencing, got, uh, you know, just miscellaneous stuff. I don't think I'm gonna bring the trailer because I think if I take the if I take the ball off my hit, I should be able to come back here and Like 
it's going to be a pain in the ass, but he said he rolled it all up for me, so I guess I'm going to get all the big stuff, you know, kind of like this out of here, just so that I can, you know, get everything down so that there's just the wire and see how hard it is to pull out. I'm not taking the paint because it's hazardous. can't take that pole because it's got a big old block of concrete on it. And other than that, uh, pretty good haul. So I'm um, going to end the video right here because i got to get going to the scrapyard if I'm going to make it today. Because it's a Saturday and they close at 3 and it's about 1 right now. So uh, take it easy guys. See you in the next video.